Hello everyone. In today's session, we are going to learn validations in JavaScript. A validation is a process of checking a data against a standard or some specific requirement. For example, enrollment number validation or date, uh, birth date validation or email validation or simply a emptiness check. Initially, form validation was uh, used to occur at the server side. So the client provides the data and submit the form and that form will be submitted to the server and and the server side that validation will occur and if it is no, not valid the data will be sent back to the client and request the client to resubmit the form with the correct information so it was very tedious and a lengthy process and it will increase the burden on the server to avoid this situation javascript came up with a way to validate the data at the client side itself so before sending data to the server the data will be validated so the burden on the server will be less there are two different types of validation one is a basic validation which covers emptiness check confirm password length validation and many other validations and there is one more type of validation which is data format validation which is more focused on the format of the data right which can be a email validation, mobile number validation, enrollment number validation. It can be a date of birth validation when we want DDMM YYY format. So these two kind of form, uh, validations are there. The basic validation can be uh, checked with the help of basic JavaScript operators or the functions. Whereas data format validation, we need some class. And this class in JavaScript is REGEXP, regular expression. So with the help of regular expression, we can define a pattern of the characters, how should it should be. Regular expression can also be used to search and replace functions. Let's see an example. Here, uh, the technique is to create one pattern initially. This pattern we are going to learn in detail in this particular session only, that how to create this pattern. But as of now, I have created a pattern which will allow only words in the string words in a 0 to uh, 9 as well as underscore right this will be only allowed we cannot enter a special character in this particular pattern so we are going to learn this in detail no need to worry as of now but this pattern will be passed as a constructor parameter to this reg exp class and we are creating an object out of it on that object we are going to call one method test that test method will return a boolean value if it will return true, that means this particular string is valid on this particular pattern. And, and it, if it will return false, that means this particular string is not valid on this particular pattern. Let's see an example of for that. We have created, uh, in the last session, we have created one uh, program in which there were two inputs, username and password, and we are getting these values in our JavaScript. We want to check whether the user name contains any special character or not, right? Our validation is simple. We want only the words inside our username, no special character. So to do that, we are going to first create one pattern and the pattern as I have written there will be simple, which will allow only words inside our string. I'm going to teach how to write this particular pattern for different different validations. But as of now, we are just going to write this. Then we are going to create one object reg exp. Any name we can provide reg exp class and we are going to pass our pattern as a constructor parameter. After that, we can use one method of reg exp test method, which will return us whether this particular string username is valid on this particular pattern or not right because we want to check username so we are passing u here if it is valid we are going to write document dot write valid string else we are going to write invalid string right so when we write something like this and we'll run this file when we run this file and we are providing a valid data it will return us the valid string because that was a valid input this was a valid input but if i specify some special character on it 
some special character it will return invalid string because that way uh, that particular uh, character was not allowed inside our string so this is how we can use validations regular expression to get uh, the validation we want right we can create uh, n number of combination using the uh, this particular pattern so uh, now just to make sure it uh, it will be easier for you to read here i am going to create one div with the id result and we are going to pass our uh, like a string to there so that you can easily get what i display over here i am here passing result i am getting element by id and here instead of document dot write i am going to write result dot inner html as we have seen in the previous session that if we write something like this it will be displayed on that particular division so you can directly see what is the output without the page be gone so here only it will provide us the output right it is valid but if i specify some special character that will become an invalid string right so this is how we can create a validation there are many meta characters to that here we whatever we have used is w small w which will allow only words which contains a to z small capital a to z 0 to 9 and underscore right there is two different ways in which we can write our regular expression or pattern right one is using w or capital w or there is one more uh, profound way of writing our regular expression or the pattern which is we can write something like this a to z and plus over here why i am writing plus i am going to teach you that but as of now i am writing plus over here and i am just writing a to z so now if i refresh the page and i if i enter it uh, the string it will be valid but here if if i press capital a the string will become invalid why because we have only written that small a to z is valid for this particular pattern if i want to allow capital also i need to write capital a to z as well inside that square bracket so now it will allow us small will be valid as well as if we specify capital then also it will be valid but if we specify digits inside this string it will become invalid so if we want to allow digit also then we can write 0 to 9 then it will be valid for this it will be valid with the capital h also and it will be valid with digits also so this is how we can use this particular pattern with the help of square box we can specify the characters which we want to allow okay similarly if we specify capital w instead of small w capital w it will allow only known words means anything other than this particular uh, thing right if we want to allow only digits like 0 to 9 we can specify 0 to 9 simply here only 0 to 9 as well as if we want to do like this we can do with the help of d both are same ready we are uh, generally i use this square uh, syntax right but you can use this particular meta character as well if you want to allow known digits other than 0 to 9 you can uh, specify with the help of capital d you can always use less and less t for the new line and the tab right there are quantifiers to it uh, you probably learned the regular expression so i am going to just uh, going to revise this particular concept here we have used plus here we have used plus we are going to go back with that particular syntax a to z plus the plus simply means that there should be some occurrence of this particular sorry this particular characters at least one time right if we do not specify anything here it will be invalid string because there has to be at least one of that particular character that specify a plus but if we specify instead of plus star here that means zero or more occurrence zero or more occurrence 
that means if i do not specify anything blank would be also valid because there is no occurrence zero occurrence of a to z one is also valid if i specify uh, five of them will be valid and if i specify n number of this character then also it will be valid the difference between plus and star is plus means at least one occurrence must be there and if it is star that means zero will be also valid right even here if we do not specify a to z we can simply specify a for example i am not writing a to z in a square box instead of that i am simply writing a plus a plus simply means that empty is invalid if i specify a it would be a valid if i specify a n number of time still it would be a valid but if i specify any other character than a the string will become invalid because here i have only written a right if i specify inside a square box a b c d e f then these all are the valid characters but if you want to specify a to z so we need not to write whole uh, alphabets we can simply write a to z simply like this right this is how it works if we specify question mark that means zero occurrence or one occurrence is valid not more than one not uh, zero or one only is a valid string if we specify a dollar over here let's see why we have written a cap and a dollar at the end if we simply specify a to z plus that means okay we are going to see example with help of simple one character a plus if i specify a plus what that means is if your string is empty it will be obviously invalid but if we specify a string some string it will be valid i have specified other characters as well you can see but still it is a valid string because if we write simply a plus that means a, a occurrence of a should be there inside our string which is there you can see there are number of characters a inside our string so it would be valid but if i specify if i do not specify any occurrence of a then string will be invalid so now if i specify a anywhere in a string our string will become valid right but if i want like my occurrence of a must be the first uh, 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 character then i can specify cap over here which simply means that your string will be invalid if i do not write that was the first case but if i specify a in between still it will be invalid i have to write a at the beginning of the string compulsory at the beginning of the string if i specify a our string will become a valid string similarly if i want our occurrence of a at the end of the string then i can write dollar at the end so which means this will this will be invalid of course but if i specify at the end of, of the string a then it will become a valid string right this is how we can use a cap and a dollar then we can specify fixed number of uh, occurrences not n number for example if i specified here i am going to tie this with a cap and dollar so there won't be allowed any other character than this if i want a mobile number validation for example what i am going to write is 0 to 9 and if i specify plus that means at least one occurrence of 0 to 9 should be there so this is valid ready if i do not specify anything it will be invalid but now what i want is i want exactly 10 digits i want exactly 10 digits because i want to validate a mobile so i need exact 10 then i can write a curly bracket and specify the number of occurrence it should have exact number of occurrences so if i specify 0 to 9 and then in a curly bracket 10 that means the uh, it should only allow 0 to 9 and that too it must be of 10 digits then and then it will be valid right so this is how we can use a mobile number on this particular syntax but if i want like the password must be of 0 to 9 or the number should be between 6 to 12 minimum occurrence are 6 and maximum occurrence are 12 uh, in password validation we have something like this that password must be of 6 character 
uh, must be between 6 to 12 characters so we can specify something like this in a curly bracket two argument we are going to pass and if we pass only one argument 6 comma that means it will allow uh, the password must be of minimum of 6 character plus is infinite like end limit is infinite but minimum it should be 6 character this is how we can use validation for example if we want to validate our enrollment number gtu enrollment number which is of fixed 12 digits you can specify something like this right okay so this is how uh, it works there are more certain things which uh, you need to know when you are programming for example i want uh, i want to allow the students of the uh, gtu which were uh, enrolled in a 2019 for example so the basic is that there are certain numbers to that to, to, uh, total 12 digits right but if you are enrolled in gtu on 2019 here will be 19 so i want only the numbers which are allowed inside uh, which uh, the enrollment number which is joined inside and uh, 2019 what i can write is initially i will specify 19 as a static and then i'll allow 0 to 9 digits exactly 10 times so there will be total 10 plus 2 12 digits but initial two digits must be 19 so this is how we can work with the regular expression the last uh, topic which was very important as far as the gtu is concerned so how to validate email using regular expression you can use n number of techniques right but uh, the basic uh, you can find the regular expression from the internet itself you can search email validation regular expression you will get the pattern right you will get this particular pattern the pattern may be different right you can write your own pattern if you want but this is the pattern standard pattern which was provided by the textbook so we are create the thing will be changed this pattern only the technique is the same we are creating a pattern we are passing that pattern to a regular expression and we are using a test method on that particular uh, element and if it is written true then means the, uh, the email is valid otherwise it is invalid so this is how we can use regular expression and the validation inside a javascript thank you